good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time of the day you're watching this video. This is Dr. Eric Tangumonkan with IEM Approach, where we inspire, equip, and motivate people to discover God's great potential in them, develop that potential, and deploy it. There is great potential in you, however, for you to reach that great potential, you must set goals. And today I want to focus on one aspect of goal setting. You've heard that you should set smart goals. The M stands for the goal has to be measurable. When you can measure the goal, it's going to hold you accountable. In other words, what is it that you want to do? What is it that you want to achieve? And how do you quantify what you want to achieve? The how is very important. You, you need a measurement. You have to be able to quantify that which you want to achieve so that you can evaluate and make sure you are making progress. A lot of people just say, for example, oh, I want to lose weight. What is your game plan? If wishes were horses, the beggars were right. Talk is cheap. If you speak it, you don't have a strategy, you don't have a measurable strategy, you're going to fail. You're going to fail. Stop giving excuses. You are failing because you are not measuring what you are doing. You are not holding yourself accountable. Let's take exercise for example. How many miles have you committed to exercise daily? Can you give that number? You have to hold yourself accountable. If you've said, I'm going to do a mile a day, a mile a day, you must do. Come rain, come shine. Whatever measurement you have that is tied to your goal, make sure you get behind it and do it when you feel like doing it and when you don't feel like doing it. What matters is that you measure, you stick to the plan. It's going to deliver no matter how long it waits. Don't give up. Measure what you are doing. Measure it and stick to the measurement. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to share this video and stay tuned for more updates. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. God bless you.